and hockey is probably no bigger no-no than physically assaulting the referee. Whether it's Dennis Wideman bowling the referee over, P.K. Subban landing a couple of punches to the linesman on top of him, or Jeremy Roenick throwing a water bottle at the referee. These are the times that the players have fought the referees. Generally, coaches are expected to be good examples of how to conduct themselves for players. But certainly, this is not the case here as this coach comes out running onto the ice and knocks one of the officials down. The unlucky zebra appears to be injured. It's a pretty good bet that the offending coach was not behind the bench in that league for quite a while. Next, after an apparent on-ice fracas and two players are being ushered to the box. In hockey, we know that one bad shove deserves another. First, this player shoves the referee, then the ref shoves him back. And then with one last blow from the player, it sends the official to the ice. Now, that should definitely deserve a match penalty and game misconduct. This much occurs as apparently the player is then escorted off the ice. Meanwhile, in the main event of this game, the referee and linesman take two separate players who are fighting. But you take a closer look at what's going on in the background. The other linesman is trying to deal with the player and things are clearly not going well. After being wrestled down to the ice, the unfortunate linesman is then dragged across the ice. They even spill over to roller hockey. In this case, a player disagrees with a penalty call and cross-checks the referee. But the quick-handed referee grabs the stick and swings it at the player. Luckily, for everyone's sake, he misses. The ref then has to take the player and that leads to another wrestling match. At least in this instance, the video was shot and the play could not be broken up. This just goes to prove that whether blades or wheels, there can be bad blood between players and officials. In this next one, we don't know what set this skater off, but clearly it was something significant. Enough for this impressive two-handed stick toss from his own blue line almost to the center red line. And his stick unfortunately caught one of the refs right in the arm. It may have even hit him in the head had he not ducked. Clearly, the referee of this next situation is a former hockey player who dropped the gloves a couple of times. And that's because after a bump from an unhappy player, this sends the ref right down to the ice. He calmly gets up, removes his helmet, and places it on the ice. Then he attacks the player himself which of course starts a brawl. Sometimes the contact between players and referees or linesmen could be accidental, such as in this case. The Calgary Flames' Dennis Wideman has already taken a heavy check and appears to be groggy as he tries to get to the bench. But while he's getting there, he absolutely wallops linesman Don Henderson and he even had to go to court to talk about this play. Or maybe a classic situation like in this case. As the linesman tries to break up a fight, Cal Clutterbuck is still throwing punches meant for his opponent. But this one lands squarely in the face of the linesman trying to break up the scrap. Now, this one was totally on purpose. Anaheim Ducks and Juan Vanette missed the attempted stick swing at a linesman after a face-off. But Vernette did connect on a game misconduct. Next, Unhappy with a P.O. penalty call, Pittsburgh Penguins superstar Sidney Crosby bumps the referee as he's protesting and gets another penalty. A 10 minute misconduct for his transgression. Sometimes the on ice official is totally capable of handling these situations by himself. And this is the case here as the New York Rangers Daniel Carcelo catches the linesman Scott Driscoll with his stick and Driscoll wrestles to get Carcelo away from a fight. So, after taking the shit with the stick, Driscoll simply manhandled Carcelo right into the penalty box. This is another example of a strong referee. The ref just grabs John Tucker right out of the pile, physically takes Tucker over to the box, and then throws Tucker in the sin bin. This ain't a referee, that's a hockey player wanting to fight. And this leads us to another direct shot to the face from the Philadelphia Flyers Craig Berube who absolutely laid the linesman out while he was trying to break up a fight starting between Berube and a New York Rangers player. Next is a hilarious moment, okay? It's another accidental assault as a Toronto Maple Leafs goalie Curtis Joseph thinks that he's interfered with on a goal and immediately rushes over to the ref to protest, but just before he got there, he took a little slip and plows the referee down onto the ice. And just take a look at his helmet. Man, that looks bonkers. The moments we've shown before were just physical moments, but this one is hurling projectiles at the ref. 
And this is exactly what Jeremy Roenick resorts to after he thinks that there was a few missed calls from referee Blaine Angus. And this includes one that left him with a bloody mouth. In some cases, the referee hits the player, but accidentally, of course. And this seems to be the case here, as the referee Dan O'Halloran accidentally lays a big time shoulder check on the Florida Panthers, Mike Matheson, and Matheson gets hurt. And then, there's the Detroit Red Wings' Brendan Smith accidentally blindsiding referee Chris Rooney. Next, the Nashville Predators' Yannick Weber runs over the linesman Don Henderson. Jeez, Don Henderson yet again? The Montreal Canadiens' Cole Caulfield is not that big, so there's really no harm when he accidentally runs into the ref. But it's one thing when a ref gets hit by a player, but what about by two? This seems to be the case here, as the Chicago Blackhawks' Dustin Bufflin checks the Philadelphia Flyers' Kimo Timonen into the corner, and unfortunately, the referee was caught between Timonen in the corner. As his fight with another player is being broken up, and the players are both on the ice, the Nashville Predators' Pete Gay Subban unfortunately gets a few punches in on the referee, who winds up on top of Subban. Now going back a few years, Buffalo Sabres' Alexander McGillney shoves the official in the back of the head. McGillney was suspended for 10 games for his trouble. And then there's Alex Ovechkin. At 6 foot 3 and 235 pounds, this superstar does not need to make much contact to knock the official down to the ice. Here, he accidentally knocks the alignsman over, but then seems to say I'm sorry by patting the official on the head. Bufflin is back! Here with the Winnipeg Jets as he bumps this referee and immediately gets a gay misconduct. This one's a lot more direct as the Boston Bruins' Terry O'Reilly hits the referee Andy Van Helmond just as the ref is trying to break up a fight. And then this linesman tries to keep out of the way of the Boston Bruin Charlie McAvoy and the Florida Panthers' Aaron Ekblad. And of course, just jumping out of the way didn't work for him. The next one is a complete accident as the Washington Capitals' Tim Gleason tries to put a big check on the New York Islanders' Brock Nelson. But Nelson avoids the hit and the linesman David Breesbois takes the full blunt of it. Zach Cassian of the Edmonton Oilers then shoves the linesman who is trying to break up a scrum, which gets Cassian a game as condo. Milan Lucic of the Los Angeles Kings is trying to punch an opposing member of the Colorado Avalanche but his punch accidentally connects with the face of linesman Jay Shears. Finally, another Los Angeles Kings, Jordan Nolan is jousting with the Pittsburgh Penguins of Denny Malkin when the linesman skates to break it up, and Nolan gives him a shot for good measure. So there you have it, when hockey players fight the referees. What do you think was the most memorable? And leave a comment if you missed anything. Click the video on the screen to watch the craziest meltdown moments in NHL history. If you like this video, don't be a bender. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help the algorithm, help us grow, and see you next time.